Hello all, Jeff here with a new video. Yep, it's the Eximotive Exocet. Mission today is to win a race in this thing in the S-Class Hopper. Let's see if I can do it. First race in the Exocet. Prague Bull. So, three lap race here. And one thing we notice is V8 Supercar and the Alpha have stalled. All of a sudden, bang! Looks like someone just smashed straight into the Alpha. Puts me straight into me. Yeah, not the best start, is it? But here we go. It's turn one. The Alpha's just gone ridiculously wide. See you later. There's another spot gained. And, yeah, as you can see, this thing loves to go sideways. And there's a little jump here at Prague. I'm about to reach it. There we go. Whoa, two wheels. All of a sudden, a couple guys are spun. Oh! Just tried to get around the inside of that super fast. Clipped him a little, but look, he was already in the middle of the track. What else can I do? And here's this other extra set. And oh, we've got to be a carnage at the front. The extra set, bang, hits that McLaren. To be honest, he had nowhere else to go. But now I'm in ninth place now, behind the other extra set. So, oh, <laughs> And that's one thing I love about this extra set. It loves to go sideways, and he's doing it as well. But in the tight stuff, it likes to understeer a fair bit, mainly because it's got such a massive engine in such a tiny little chassis as I just easily go past the other extra set. And all of a sudden, he, I've got this Noble N600 in front of me. He knows I'm faster in straight line, so he just lets me go past. Fair enough. And just look at this thing. It's just ridiculous. As I said the DLC review, this thing is absolutely mental. <laughs> it really is. And I've done a few upgrades to this to make it to the top of S-Class. Only power upgrades, so... In theory, it should be even more mental than stock. As we have an Aston Martin that's hit the chicane, the walls of the chicane, and in the last lap, I'm in sixth place. This Dodge Viper just clips the wall. Clips it again, I was going to get past, but as you can see, you, you, you just can't get its power down. And fair enough, it's such a, such a light package. As you can see, I'm trying to get the power down, just can't, can't get to the Viper. Ends up being a sixth place, not too bad. Hello Porsche, what are you doing mate? Anyway, next race, Road America Full Alternate. Starting fifth place, got an extra set on pole, another one, yep. So, yeah, it's quite clearly someone can win a race in an extra set, but I, I'm trying to win a race in an extra set. As you can see, this Celine S7 has, has a bit of dramas at the wall, so I'm in fifth, where I started. All of a sudden, there's a bit of a collision between the Aston and the McLaren, I think it's a 650S, not the 720. I'll just stay behind these guys. I have the Celine gets by me. Fair enough, it's a very good S-Class car. As we go, as we exit turn three and onto this straight. As I easily go past the Celine and the Aston. All of a sudden, this guy in the McLaren, just watch. Look at this for a block. So, <laughs> and the Celine gets punted from behind. All because I was just trying to back off, back off from this guy's blocking. Oh. I had to back off in case he smashed into me, and now he's lagging, which makes things even worse. I don't even know where he actually is on track. Anyway, so as we exit turn six onto turn seven, he goes oh, he goes a little wide. Oh, now he goes really wide. So I don't know what he's trying to do. <laughs> I think he must be a very bad rammer. As we exit turn eight, I'm in turn. I'm about to get into the into the carousel, that's right. Got the McLaren behind me, and being the alternate circuit, we're using the, the motorbike chicane instead of the king. Not a fan of this chicane, it's very awkward. Anyway, so again, the chicane, the McLaren behind me, just cuts the corner as you do. However, it was another failed attempt at a ram. Anyway, end of lap two, I'm in third place. The other exit set has bolted. But in front of me is a McLaren 720S. Yep, one of the other new cars from the Top Gear car pack. So, just look at the straight line speed of this thing. 
I'm getting close to him as we get to turn one. He goes a bit wide, really wide, and gifts me second place. And that's where I'd finish, second place. So it ended up being an extra set one, two. So happy days from that point of view. But I want to win a race in the extra set. So the next race, Suzuka East. Starting second, got the Viper starting on pole. The Porsche in third. So let's go. And because this is rear wheel drive, not much weight, it's terrible off the line as Yasin got the initial warmth, but once I open up, once I spread the legs, pardon the pun, um, it's see you later. So if you go going to use the extra set in S Class, I recommend using the lower gears. Yeah, you're going to get more understeer, but it's probably better than just getting oversteer and spinning the thing, you know what I mean? But yeah, third gear around, around this tight section. As you can see, keeping up with the leaders, which is the main thing. Um, that Porsche in front of me, I'm pretty sure, is the new GD3 RS. As you can see, he just got that corner wrong and has given me second place. So, it's time to stretch the legs of the Exa set. The Viper does have a V10, but I have a lot less weight than him. And it's apparent, look at this. I could have went by him, but I know this thing doesn't handle as well as a Viper. So I'll wait till we get to the main straight again, the next lap. And as you can see, straight line speed, look at that. Pure boy, see you later. So it was all smooth sailing there. Except for the last lap, I was getting, getting close to some back markers. We've got a McLaren 720S uh, and with this purple Porsche. Now, just have a look at this. The McLaren, I don't know what he's doing. I'll just back off in case he tries to ram me. And this Porsche goes wide. Ridiculous rejoin. This takes the inside line from me. I spin. Ugh. And look at this. He's just on the grass again. It's cost me the lead. But it's not over because this Porsche is holding the Viper up as well. And all of a sudden this Lotus comes from out of nowhere. He thought he had no chance of a win. The Viper gets rammed. And that purple Porsche has cost me a win. Not happy. I was going to finish the video off if it wasn't for that rammer. Or if it wasn't for that vlog. But I decided, look, I've got to do another race. I can't end like that. So, Hockenheim full, starting on pole because I had the fastest clean lap. As we get off the line, of course, terrible with a big engine and not much weight. And we go into turn one. This Ferrari goes around nowhere. I'd, I just take the run off just to avoid the carnage. And I'm in second place. In front is the Viper that, that I've got that went past at Suzuka and then went past me and then got rammed but anyway so out of turn three and all of a sudden I stretched the legs on this thing so yeah but the thing was being the Nash it was ac it's actually Hockenheim National not the full circuit so that means we don't use as much of that straight if we were using Hockenheim full then maybe I probably could have got past the Viper as we got to the hairpin as we go to this this chicane section and yeah it's, it's very close here the Viper's still in front I've got the Ferrari F50 in third place the F50 is a very good car in S class as we go into the stadium section the part of the track that's been there here ever since the days of the good old Hockenheim that was very much like a second Monza but here we go so the, the Ferrari's very close behind me now the Viper you know just pulls away from me a little fair enough better handling car Viper whichever Viper you use very very good in S-Class so yeah you've got choice with what Viper you want to use in S-Class anyway start of lap two and we've got this guy I don't know what he's doing he's just where whether he's trying to trying to quit after the start and it didn't work I don't know but anyway, we get to turn two. And under the brakes, I'm very close to him. And I need a better, better launch out of turn three. Yep, much better than lap one. Get a little sideways, fair enough, it's a mental thing. 
and just go around the outside of him look at that straight line speed and there we go under the brakes kept the lead that's the main thing and now's the case of just keeping this thing on the track not using using high well using high gears whenever it's necessary to stop the wheel spin yeah you get more understeer but yeah it's 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 very much a handful this extra set as we go into the stadium section again as you can see I've got a bit of a train behind me so I've got the Viper and the Ferrari 50 behind me as well I forget who's in fourth place but it's a four horse race for the lead here so it could end up being very interesting and notice on the top right low bandwidth and high latency it's one of those things where you just hope you don't get disconnected while you're about to win a race that'd be the worst feeling in the world anyway start of lap three I'm still in the lead and take turn one very nicely indeed something's happened there the vibe has gone a bit wide looks like the Ferrari's taken second place and that guy's really fast so let's see if he can keep up with me well, he's gone pretty close at turn two and then I just open up the leg. Open up the legs. You know what I mean. Get the power down to the ground. And yeah. We go into this national hairpin, if you could call it that. As you can see, the, Ver the Ferrari is very close to me. So in the tight corners, he's going to get very close. Fair enough. As I go wide, somehow hold on to the lead. I thought he was going to make a move there. I'll go wide again. But again, stretch the legs. Yep, that Ferrari's that Ferrari does want the lead here. So it's just a matter of just staying on your line. Defending defending as cleanly as possible. As we go, oh, a bit wide there too. Giving the Ferrari a bit of a chance. But no, I've gone out <laughs> as I go a bit sideways. Fair enough, being an extra set. The Ferrari... He just wants to get by me. But if I had this thing in second gear around this corner, I would have spun by now. As there's tyres everywhere. But as we get start the last lap, it's it's a battle between me and the Ferrari. So as turn one, that's that's nice and clean by Forza standards. Um, as we get into turn two, so hairpin. And the Ferrari's getting very, very close. But I've got a good exit there. Not bad. As you can see, just feathering the throttle. Not going full throttle until I'm 100% comfortable of getting that foot down to the ground. As I lock it a little bit, but braking is a bit better now because the fog's gone. That was the thing earlier in the race. I would, you, can't, you can't even see the corner. Oh! Nice, oh, nice little sideways action. As you can see, it's very mental in the high gears. It does tend to understeer, but if you have it in the lower gears, it does love to spin the tyres. It's very, very hard to control. As we go into the stadium section again, I'm still in front. However, that Ferrari will, will, will just pounce if I make a mistake. He's right up behind me now. I'll just get a bit sideways there. As, yeah, as you can see, I'm not full throttle at all as we go to the last corner can I get this clean it's a bit wide he's got a bit of a run but not that but it doesn't matter the extra set in my hands has won and there you have it so I've shared the tune for this extra set it's called S class the description S class if you like the video smash the like button leave a comment let me know what car I should do next and subscribe for more content as well as tapping the bell for future notifications of videos. Anyway, this is Jeff here and happy racing. Cheers.